Hey there, it's Brittany and I'm back with another video, but I don't know what I'm gonna make yet. <laughs> so today I just reached, I literally five seconds ago, reached into a bin and grabbed out these things without even paying attention to what it was. And it looks like it was a bag of beads that I made over a year ago and some pendants to go with it. So we're just gonna make something on the fly and then it'll turn into something or it won't. Um, so I had three pendants in there. Wow, this one's really pretty. They're, they're actually they're all really pretty Ooh. so that one I could make a hole in it I could glue a bale to it I this one's really pretty it's making me so happy uh, I think I might save that one because I I'm gonna have to plan for this one I don't know if on the fly will do this one as much justice as I want to do it and then I have this one which is kind of wonky and organic and I really like it and I have this one which is also kind of wonky and organic just not as um, wonky and organic uh, I, think, I think I'm gonna go with this guy because it's already got a bale it's definitely handmade um, the thing that's making me a little annoyed is just these little fingernail marks right here um, but I'll give past me some grace and go with it. I think it'll be fun. So we'll make a necklace with that. And then we have this nice bag of beads here. So we're obviously going to make um, a bracelet too. So I don't have a tutorial on these because I learned. Okay, so I adapted making these beads from an, a tutorial I saw from Turtle Soup Beads. So Susan at Turtle Soup Beads. Um, it's her Shibori I don't know what she calls them, uh, bead tutorial. So I would definitely recommend checking turtle soup beads out. Um, I changed her way to suit my way, but that it really the basic, um, it, it's making something more like this in her video. So the basics come from her. Um, and then I just used some colors that I used in making these beads to make some coordinating beads. Uh, I might need to drill some bigger holes in these beads because it doesn't, I mean, they'll fit on um, beading wire, but they're not gonna fit on my uh, beadalon elastic cord needle if I left the holes that way. So we're gonna make some bracelets. Um, yeah, let me get a bead board and I'll be right back. Okay, so I grabbed my bead board. Um, I had these beads out already from a different project that I didn't use them on. Uh, if you had seen my day 40 bracelet uh, video, I also have wanted to really use more orange and turquoise together. So I grabbed these beads. These are from Hobby Lobby. Okay, I got these bead beads at Hobby Lobby. I'm sure I got them for half off. They're just really pretty. Um, orange crystals and these look like these came from Hobby Lobby too. They're also orange. They're different color orange, but they'll still work together. Um, so I'm just going to put my pendant here. I still haven't decided what the heck we're doing. I kind of want to do a leather necklace. Uh, let's see what we have here. I have this leather, but I don't think this, this is like two millimeter. I don't think this will fit through these crystals. Sorry, talking to myself. Yeah, these aren't. Yeah, that's not gonna fit through these crystals. Nice thought, but not gonna work. Um, let's see what else they have here. I have some one millimeter leather from Bracelet Street, but I'm checking to see if I have enough of the right color. So I have this copper, but I only have like one yard, which I don't think would be enough. A red, but I don't want to do red and then I have black oh, I don't want to do black either all right well that's out um, thanks for sticking with me while I choose what I'm doing um, all right well we'll just start cutting things apart and go from there it's sometimes how I do it and then sometimes I just don't even use any of the things that I cut apart but we'll see how it goes One of those days, I don't have a plan in mind. Okay. And then I have my other beads over here. I think I'm just gonna lay out a design and then I'll decide how I, if I wanna string it. 
I want to knot it, if I want to link it with um, head pins. I actually looked at um, the uh, blue check press glass flowers that I used on one of my bracelets this week, but I didn't think they really worked very well for this project. All right, um, looks like I only have two of these little guys, so I'm gonna put them down here. Those aren't even the same size. What was I thinking? <laughs> oh, what was I thinking when I was making these? <laughs> um okay okay maybe i was just experimenting that's got to be what i was doing so that's all right that's all right sometimes you don't get to choose how many beads you have oh i like that and then we can put the the blue ones so we're slowly getting a darker color as we go up put the blue ones up there now what else? What else do I want to do? We have our crystals and we have, we want to put, let's see. I really wanted to do something with these, but the orange was the wrong orange to go with this. Just wasn't working out. I saw, I found these in my stash. Guys, I, I've been packing beads and it's been killing me. It's been killing me. I have to move for over a month, but it's killing me to pack the beads and I haven't used those and I was like oh I'll pack them and then today I was like oh I really want to use those so I'm going to probably do a project with those before I pack them away um put that there that guy there put one up there nope that would be too much orange but we do need something to break up this guy here do have some bead caps. I don't know if I like this style for this. Oh, they don't hate it. Actually, I really like that. Okay. Ah! Goodness gracious. Okay. So I'll put my bead caps out. I just got these in Tucson at a jewelry show in February. Um, I have these. I think they came from Bargain Bead Box. I like them a lot. I think they'll go up here. That'll be cute at the back of the necklace. I'm gonna do like three, I think, on each side. There aren't any rules. You can do whatever you want. I feel like Bob Ross when I say stuff like that, but it's so true. Like, why would you put rules on yourself if you're making your own necklace? Um, okay, so I need something to go between these guys and these guys. Um, I still have more orange crystals. Here's my, I'm, I can't wait to revamp my storage. Like this is the horrible orange crystal storage I have right now terrible it's a nightmare um, I want to see if I have something that's relatively close to these but smaller and it looks like I might have something going on in this bag but I don't know if they're too small it's a lot of orange do I want that much orange it's a lot of orange nope I don't want that much orange so I'm thinking what I want here between these beads is something silver. So let's think about this. Let's think about this. I have my spacer beads next to me. Do I like this one? Oh, actually I like that. Uh, do I have two of them? That's the question. I have this one. 
I do have two of them. And I also have this style. Thing with these is they tarnish. So I actually like this one a little better than this one. So if I put that guy there and this guy here, then what are we going to do right here when I don't have any more of that? We could put this guy. Yeah, I like that. I'm a little worried that those are flat and these are much more bulbous, but I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be fine. Now I need to find something to do right here. Thinking, I'm thinking, and I'm looking. Ooh, what about these? Uh, looks like you got these from Bargain Bee Box. No, uh, they're, they're the right shape. I just, I don't, I don't love them. I don't love them. Not for this project. I do love them. I love all beads. <laughs> but I don't love them for this project. Will these work? So one is a little bit more. Do you see that one? This one has more black than this one. Now I could treat that with patina. Or a sharpie. If you don't want to invest in patina. But I don't know that I just I don't love them. They're not they're not what I'm looking for. Um I have these, but I don't know, that's not what I'm looking for either. No. Nope. Um this is a lot of the stuff that I do when I'm not on camera. <laughs> and you guys see my finished products and you're like, oh, how do you design them? Well, this is the annoying process. <laughs> um, gosh, what about these? Nope. Hate it. Oh, wait. Yes! Woo! -hoo! Okay, so I found two more of these beads, which is awesome! All right, do I want to put them here? Or do I want to put them... I do like that, but I still need something to go against the pendant because do you see how big the hole is there? I need something that'll fit in there so that it's not sagging. Um, I might do, I don't know how that would look. Yep, we're gonna do that. That'll be cool. I'll get two more. Caps. Guys, this necklace kind of built itself. I'm just going to slip in some um, uh, spacer beads between the beads that didn't have like bigger silver beads and we'll be good to go. I'm just going to go ahead and start sliding my beads on to my wire and I will go ahead and oh drop the bead I will go ahead and do that warp speed for you okay so the idea I had with the bead caps didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to for the pendant so we are going to figure something else out Although I am loving the rest of this necklace. It's just so cheerful and summery and happy. Um, let me think about this. 
Okay, so put that there. Oh, oops, I did that wrong. Let's see how that lays if we do it like that. Sorry, it's really having half a necklace on is hard to do. Okay. Um, well, I don't hate it. I don't know that that's what I'm looking for. Because it slides in there. But it looks, it's kind of tilted and wonky. And then it looks weird next to the other silver bead. Let's just see how this looks without that there. want to get a couple more beads on to see how it looks pretty sure I don't like it but you never know mm, actually I don't mind it I actually think oh, maybe one more orange bead here but I don't I don't know let me check with where I put those smaller orange crystals Okay, so I added the two smaller orange ones, and I actually really love how it looks on the right side of the necklace. However, the left side's a little different, and the orange bead isn't sliding in there as well as the right side was. So what I did is I put on four stainless steel beads. So now the, ch the uh, pennant will move around a little bit, and it'll be fine. And I think I really like it that way. Um, and I'll be the only one who can tell that this side's maybe not as perfect as the right, but guess what? It's a handmade pendant with handmade beads. <laughs> so I actually, this necklace is just making my day. I'm just like, it's like cheering me up. Um, okay, so next I will go back into warp speed and finish the rest, uh, finish the left side. Okay, so I don't know if you caught that, but I added <clears throat> some extra beads at the back because it wasn't um, laying where I would like it to, to lay on my chest. So I added um, another set of orange and blue beads, and then I added a fourth flower spacer. Um, and it's still a little short, but the cool thing is I'm going to do a um, an expander on the back, so or extender, whatever you want to call it, so it will uh, be adjustable. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just put the jump rings on for now. I can finish it later with the clasp by attaching jump rings to these jump rings. But first, I'm going to put on my um, crimp bead. And then I'll put on my jump ring. I wish I had some soldered jump rings. I don't right now. And even if I did, I wouldn't know where they are because I'm packing. Um, and it's hard to like decide what I'm gonna need in the next month while I'm making videos versus what I can pack because hello, never thought I was gonna use these beads in the, in the next 30 days because I've had them for over a year. <laughs> and I've had these for forever and these as well. So I never know what I'm gonna use. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be a challenge um, for sure sticking to just the basics when while I'm packing because I've already packed I picked up away all my Jesse James beads and uh, a lot of other stuff too so it's gonna be interesting it for sure okay so I'm going to pull this a little bit and oh boy see these these spacer beads have really tiny um, holes there's no way these spacer beads would ever work on a um, not like this anyway, on a, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Stretch bracelet, cheese. Okay, so there's a goldy hair in there. I wanna get that out. 
man, the things you don't realize until you get a dog. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to actually uh, regular crimp this this time because, um, and let me scooch in the camera because I want you to be able to see this. Um, because, I don't, well, I can. I, I guess I could flat crimp this. Actually, eh, I'll do it. We'll see how, how these crimps go. These, Like I've been saying for a while, these crimps are not great. So some days they work regularly and then some days they're like no Brittany you can just flat crimp me so grab the crimp um, make sure that the uh, wires are not crossed and put it in the first hole in the jaw of the crimp pliers sorry I'm trying to get the okay and then oh my my uh, flower bead was also in there and then press down so then you'll have like a little um, elbow shape in your crimp. Then you'll move up to the next um, set in your or next opening in your crimp pliers, and you'll just fold that. Oop. Fold that over some more. Sorry, this is a really. I usually avoid doing this on on camera because it's really hard to do. Um, and then you'll just flatten it as much as you can. I have silver crimp covers. Um, I always open these up a little bit using my crimp pliers because uh, they're never wi open wide enough. Sorry. And they're so teeny tiny. Okay, so this one's really not open wide enough. So I kind of jam it onto my, sorry, it's not focusing. Jam it onto my pliers first and try and get it open as much as possible that way. And then I try and get the tips of the pliers in there as much as I can and then open. So now my crimp bead is open much wider than it was before. So I'll slide that around, well my crimp cover I should say, not my crimp bead. So and I'll slide that around my crimp bead and slowly close it. So now it just looks like a silver bead. Um, Honestly, I prefer to flat crimp just because it's easier, but it's not prettier. So, all right, I'm going to um, cut this off, the tail off, and then I'll move on to the other side. Again, I'm just putting on a jump ring for now. I can always finish this later with um, chain or whatever. This is really just to show you the back of the, the necklace. I'm gonna go ahead and crimp this off camera just to do it quickly, and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, and we have our finished necklace. Well, through the magic of the camera, we have a finished necklace. <laughs> um, I, it doesn't have a back on it yet, but it will. Um, but, you know, I'm in the middle of a 100-day challenge for making bracelets. <laughs> you didn't think I was going to let you go without making a bracelet, did you? Um, so the, my light is waning. I'm really hoping I can make a couple bracelets really quickly for you that match this. I just love this. Without trying, it kind of came out with a southwestern flare, too, because of these beads these beads and these beads, which I, you know I'm okay with. The turquoise and the orange kind of get me going. There's a lot of sea foam in here too. So okay, we are gonna move this off to the side. I'm gonna bring out my bracelet board. And I, we're gonna power through this. I wanna make at least two bracelets to go with this necklace. I usually like having a stack of three, but sometimes it's not possible. So I'm just going to put all my beads out I have um, the orange beads next to me and um, my spacers and stuff. So one bracelet and you know what, where did those turquoise beads go? Okay. These are going to be great filler because I don't have a lot of the polymer clay beads left. That's normally something that I have a, quite a few of. And now that I'm thinking about it, oh, I need to, I want to do stretch bracelets, but I can't because these holes aren't big enough. Um, wonder if I can drill some holes in those really quickly. All right, well, let's just design the bracelets and then we'll worry about the, <laughs> the medium in a moment. So I think I can take up some room on a bracelet by doing this. Oops, 
Bye. Bead soup on the floor. These turquoise beads are really going to come in handy. So, um, okay, okay, okay. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. All right. This one's going to be super simple. I don't like those. Uh, let's see. Those are better. Those are way better. Okay. So twice in two days I've gone from those to these. I should have learned my lesson by now. Okay. So there's our first bracelet. I'm going to put some, um, uh, I'm going to put uh, some spacer beads between these beads and then like, matching bracelets don't need to be rocket science they could just be really pretty and people still think like oh that's really you know they could just be really simple and people still think that's really pretty because the color combos and they match the necklace so there's our first bracelet um absolutely sure that these are not going to fit through um well, these these beads should be okay through my elastic cord needle but the elastic's not going to actually fit through um these beads i'm going to drill them really quickly after we design the next bracelet. That's why we have three um, trenches here. So we'll just keep moving these up. I feel like this is a challenge all in itself, just doing them this quickly. Although I've done this before, I just <laughs> haven't done it in a while. So, okay, we'll get these in here. Okay, and then I definitely wanna use some of these. So we'll use those three. And do I have enough crystals? Oh, do I have any more big orange crystals? That's the question. And if I do, where are they? Oh, there they are. They're off to the side here. So I have, oh, yay. Okay, so I have four crystals left. Perfect, perfect. One, two, three, four. Um, bead caps, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Um, I'm gonna grab my trusty dusty spacer beads. I think I need to grab some more, which I have here for these sides. Yeah, I do have more. And then I kind of need to decide what I want to, what colors I want to do. I definitely want to use these guys on the side. And then, um, uh, what else do I want to do? I could use some more of these. Um, I'm, it's unfortunate I only had, I must have only had enough clay to make a couple of those. Um, thinking, thinking. <laughs> Let's do this. Uh, I'm looking in my crystal bag to see if I have any more of those big orange crystals and I don't see any more. Eh, I, I have these two, but they're a different orange. That's weird. Okay. Ah, I have two little orange ones. Okay. Okay, that's good. Perfect. Whoop. So we'll put one orange right here, one orange right here, and then we'll use a smaller little guy 
little spacer daisy between those. And gosh, I wish I had another orange one for the back. Plus, I don't know how long this will be. So I'm going to go ahead and drill some holes in these beads and to make them a little bigger. And I'll be right back. Okay, so it was actually better that I designed the bracelets before I drilled the holes because I needed to drill less beads that way. So I'm going to grab, and guys, I cannot stress how many times people ask me this question. It's a Beadalon uh, elastic cord needle. You can find it at Michael's. You can find it on Amazon. Beadalon elastic cord needle. Um, I, I guarantee you at least one person will ask me what kind of needle I'm using. It's a Beadalon elastic core needle. You can get it at Michael's. Um, I'm just, it, it, it actually makes me laugh because I, I don't know how people can watch the video, see the needle and not hear me say beetle on elastic core needle. <laughs> anyway, uh, I, you have to laugh. So um, I'm going to go ahead and um, start on uh, with this bracelet first. And actually I'm going to start with um, in a weird spot. So I'm going to start with one of these beads. Um, this, yeah, this should fit. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to use a spacer and then I'm going to go this way because I want to get the whole design of the bracelet in and then just fill the, the end with however many, um, turquoise beads I need. So we'll go, hmm. Oh, I need another spacer. Okay. I could use a rhinestone spacer. No, I'm not going to, I'm not going to deviate now. Okay. So, um, we'll use, oh, hopefully these fit. Okay. They do. Sometimes these little tiny spacer beads don't fit over the elastic core needle and I have to do them hand, uh, by hand. Okay. And I need one more spacer bead. Yep. I have one here. And then we'll just uh, fill this in with these um, turquoise beads to get it to the length that I'd like. So there is the main part of this bracelet. Okay, so I have all my beads loaded onto my Beadalon elastic cord needle. And I am going to grab my trusty dusty elastic cord. This came from Amazon. You could just search for stretchy cord and this will pop right up. It's, it came with two of these boxes for $10. This is the best deal I've ever seen. And I, you guys have seen how many bracelets I can make and I haven't even made a dent in this one yet. So, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and slowly thread that on the needle. And then I'm going to walk all my beads onto my elastic cord. Oh no. See, these beads are drilled so weirdly. So I just broke my um, elastic cord because um, it was just too much to go through some of these beads. I was able to get some of them on. Oh, all right. We have to do this by hand, which is not fun. But the good thing is I can get these beads on by using the elastic cord needle. I'm glad some of this stuff happens while we're on camera because I don't want you to think that everything goes um, smoothly 100% of the time for me because it doesn't. <laughs> um, and many of you know that, but I, I don't want anybody to think that, um, mistakes don't, uh, that mistakes don't happen for me because they happen all the time, all the time. So anyway, okay, I'm gonna s get these piled on and I'll be back. Okay, so I have all my beads on. Um, what I ended up doing was putting the last spacer on this side because the hole in the green bead is much larger than the hole in the turquoise bead and that'll help me hide my knot once I've tied it. So um, as you've seen in my previous videos, make sure you pre-stretch all ends. And I just tie three knots. Um, I can count on one hand how many bra bracelets have popped and it's because I wasn't paying attention when I was knotting, not because of the knots themselves. Um, I didn't do it tight enough. So um, as long as you're putting your bracelets on using both hands, and I know that sounds weird, but don't 
go like this to put a bracelet on. Roll it on with your left hand or your right hand, depending on which arm you're putting your bracelet on. Um, your bracelet's the last years. I mean, the stretch cord will disintegrate before uh, one of these knots will come undone. So, uh, GS Hypo Cement is the glue. I get that question a lot, which is valid. It's hard to find a good glue, but this one I love for stretch bracelets and leather. So put um, some glue on both sides of the knot. Close up your glue right away because this stuff leaks. I actually did um, have to get some new glue because this, this stuff is going to be out pretty soon. I wait five minutes, let that dry, and then I, well, I'm going to pull the knot again to make the glue sh stick in there. But there's our bracelet. It's super cute. Matches our necklace perfectly. Um, and then I'm going to use my trusty dusty uh, beadalon elastic cord needle <laughs> to um, slip on all of these beads and then um, we'll see how much extra I need from there to finish off the bracelet. So I'm just going to quickly put the beads on in the order I decided. I just love any kind of blue, green, orange together. It's just so yummy. This doesn't look like like ice cream or cotton candy or something. Mm. Also, it's dinner time and I'm starving. <laughs> so that's why I'm thinking about food right now. Okay. We're getting there. Oh, no. Did I not drill this one? Oh, I did. Okay. Oopsie. I love it when I use beads that I've had for a long time because it makes me feel like, huh, there was a reason I hung on to those beads and it's because I made this beautiful piece of jewelry now that nobody else has. Right? Um, the other thing I wanted to address was, so I, I really try to hit everybody's um, uh, comments but sometimes it's it's not possible for me to send a separate email about some of the products I use. Um, so that's why I kind of talk about it a lot in the videos. So unfortunately, if you've asked me to send you an email, I, I might not have done it because I just don't, I'm not able to take that much time. But I do try to respond to every single comment within like two or three days, I try. So here's the, f oh my gosh, this is so pretty and it's so sparkly and it's yummy. Um, okay, so I'm going to measure this, see how much more length I need on it. This is a bigger, chunkier bracelet. Right now we're at about six and a three quarters uh, inches. My wrist is about seven and a quarter. But like I said, it changes every day. Um, but since these be beads are so huge, I actually want to add um, an extra half inch to what I would normally make it, I think. So let's see, where would we be? So that would take us to about seven and three quarter inch. Um, I really, really, really wish I had another one of these orange beads because then I would just slip in the back and then that would be it. Mm, this is too big. Oh, those are the wrong color and I already looked in my orange crystal bag I don't think I don't think there's like even like a loose one in here that's the same color I wonder if I could just since it's my bracelet slip one of these in the back and I'm the only one who's gonna know that so and I'm certainly not selling this or giving it away because it's my favorite colors <laughs> so go ahead and slip that baby on there huh these are the secrets. <laughs> if you don't have enough beads, get one that's close enough, especially if it's your own jewelry. Like nobody's, you guys probably can barely tell that that's a different orange. I'm just trying to be a perfectionist, I guess. Um, okay, now I would be able to tell more so on a necklace, but not on the bracelets. This is only seven and a quarter inches. Uh, I need something else. These are like the wrong color silver. Ah, dropped one immediately. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't gel for me. Too bad those little silver flowers are too small 
for this bracelet for the bracelet cord um, okay so what I'm going to do is switch this up a little bit right here I'm going to slip this orange bead up further so I can get a second one on in the long run um, and even though they're not the same orange they are so close it really really doesn't matter so um, and then I'll put this guy on put this guy on and then um, I'll have to repeat the same thing um, on this side uh, but let me grab before that happens I'm going to put uh, thread the elastic cord on the elastic cord needle Oop. sometimes it's a little slippery there we go so I'll slip everything on up until this bead right here we'll unhook we will take the spacer that on take the last bead on the strand off put that on grab another spacer <laughs> now I'm seeing a mistake I made I these this is supposed to be blue so good thing I caught it before I tied it because I'll I'll be able to I'll be able to fix that. But I was just thinking like why is the green next to the the, the wrong bead? <laughs> anyway, wow this this bracelet's giving me such a headache when it was like the easiest one to design. Okay, so then we'll go green. And I'm going to measure this and see how long it is, and then we'll see if I need um another bead or not so I'm just going to cut that sorry measuring off camera um well we're at a seven and a quarter inches I'm going to measure it on my wrist to see yeah it definitely needs another bead or else it's just going to have a gap in the back which I guess it's not the worst thing that can happen the worst thing that can happen is if it's too big and it's just flopping around um goldie's in the back coughing <laughs> all right so i'm going to fix uh this side to make sure that the color is correct in the right order so we're taking these off right here and we're putting blue on instead of green or turquoise or whatever color that is. I think I have another idea. So funny when you wish for one more bead and it just doesn't happen. <laughs> um, okay, let's measure this seven and a quarter. But if I do what I want to do, it's going to add another. I only need another about half inch. If I do what I want to do, it's only going to it's going to add three quarters inch. And it's going to be way too big. So. do this Goldie knows it's dinner time and she is hungry and she just licked my arm like mom feed me usually she's like stationary okay so I added a couple of these little guys some length and we're at seven and a half we're 
we're good. I don't care if there's a little gap. This bracelet is stunning. Look at this. I just saw it all together. I was like, oh, it's gorgeous. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stretch, 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 um, and then tie our knot. Um, I'm actually, oop, we almost missed out. We almost messed up. Okay, there was an extra spacer on there. One, two, three, and then put some glue on both sides of the knot. Sorry if that wasn't in um, focus. And then I'm going to pull this again. Uh, let that sit for just a second while I trim the tails from this bracelet. And we'll slide that knot into the green bead. So there's one bracelet. And then we will, usually I wait a little bit longer for the glue to dry, but it's okay. That knot's not going anywhere. Okay, so here are our two bracelets, which I can I can tell this one's bigger, but it is what it is at this point. Um, all right, let me show you our set. I really love this. I feel like I was just on a game show where I had to bracelet really fast oh my gosh they're so cute actually I feel like these two don't match even though they're using the same supplies oh but they certainly match this necklace this one I feel like matches way more than this one so um, I'm definitely not going to go back and make more of these beads because even if I tried I might not get the same color colorway um, this one it does match so let me see if I put them on I just don't think I would wear them together because the oranges don't match but I used them in the necklace. Isn't that so funny? So maybe I would use either this bracelet or this bracelet, but they're definitely two different bracelets. So while they're a set, I would probably only use this one and then supplement with um, silver blade bracelets or turquoise bracelets or something. I do really like this one and it does it does match it does match maybe I'm just being oversensitive right now <laughs> anyway this one's definitely my favorite I love how this necklace turned out um, let me know what you think in the comments below um, and if you know anybody who might like my channel please uh, share uh, so today's day 41 of our my hundred hundred dollar hundred bracelet challenge I wish it would only cost a hundred dollars um, and then so these are bracelets for the day 41 uh, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye-bye. A little lunchtime siesta, huh, Goldie? Do you ever stay awake? You sleepy baby, huh? You sleepy baby, yeah. Okay, I'll let you take a nap.